Welcome to the Alternative Zen Show. I'm Nicole. And I'm Jen. And today we're going to be talking about essential oils. So essential oils uh, has been a part of my life for the last um, four years. And it started after I went to the emergency room for a panic attack in the middle of the workday. Um, I was just so burnt out and so unhealthy at that point that, uh, you know, working two jobs, going to school, being a mom. Um, and so uh, an acquaintance of mine, she's like, hey, I heard, you know, you, you, you know, you had this panic attack. And she's like, have you ever heard of essential oils? And I was like, no, but <laughs> like most people, um, I was really skeptical about them. And, but I set up, you know, a class or a sales meeting with um, my upline anyways. And when she came over and started talking to me about them and ran through the class, I was just blown away. And she let me try some oils right then and there. And they immediately started working. And I, I could just, I just felt better within minutes, you know, smelling these things, um, you know, hearing everything that she was saying about them. And I'm like, yes, I need this. I need to try this. At the time I had enough money to be able to buy one of the bigger kits and so I was really excited but my husband was not he was like oh my god Nicole you really didn't just spend $500 on snake oil I'm like no it's essential oils and trust me I'm like they're gonna work they're awesome this is exactly what I need like I studied homeopathy in the past for my biology class I'm like I think this stuff's legit and four years later I'm happy to say that for me it, it is I mean for most for almost everybody I know that actually uses them yeah, it definitely. works and it's it, and you know we get that not it's not for everybody right like i still um we use modern medicine if absolutely necessary but ultimately instead of going to get over the counter medicine i will treat myself at home with home remedies uh, mostly using essential oils i don't use um over the counter prescriptions at all i use all essential oils for that stuff um, my doctor is where i use essential oils and she is supportive of it and, um, you know, I do have some prescriptions that, you know, she prescribes something to me, I will take it. You know, she thinks I really need a, an intervention in modern medicine. Um, I respect that and I listen to that because ultimately essential oils is just part of overall wellness, right? Um, it's not a cure-all. Um, it does take some time for things to work in one second. So essential oils are a part, just a part of overall wellness, right? In order to be healthy, you have to eat right. You have to have uh, you know an active lifestyle or ha or exercise. Um, you have to rest and manage your stress. You have to reduce your toxic load. Um, there's informed self care. You know researching and knowing you know whatever ailments you have. And then of course there's proactive medical care. You know working with your doctor proactively. Um, you know instead of when there's some when something goes wrong. I mean of course that definitely seek medical assistance when that happens. Um, but really ideally if you want to maintain. Um, you know, healthy life. If you want to live to to be older and and live healthy and not like feel like you're falling apart, not being constant pain, um, the sooner you can implement these things, the better. Not just essential oils. I'm saying just a healthier lifestyle. Essential oils is just one piece of a bigger picture of that. Um, and there are a lot of misconceptions about it, so we want to talk about it. So essential oils are sorry, I don't want <laughs> essential oils are safe. Natural and effective. Uh, so Jen, do you want to point out? Yeah, so I really like the fact that um, these essential oils, they really work with your body to um, address the root causes and the issues on a more cellular level, um, whereas modern medicine really aids the symptoms of the causes of these things. They don't really get through to you on that level um, like essential oils mm -hmm. do. And, um, again, they are natural, effective, and safe. Whereas some medications, they have adverse effects to them. And a lot of them do have terrible, terrible side effects. You know, um, you can, they cause rashes and, and stuff like that. And, you know, mm -hmm. um, nausea, vomiting, um, some, some medications can cause you to have hallucinations, suicidal thoughts, you know, stuff like that. Essential oils aren't going to do that to you. They may cause a rash once in a while. I have really sensitive skin, so I always have to dilute my oils, especially if it's um, one that is very potent. Um, like Aroma Touch is not extremely potent, but it is potent enough to give me a rash, so I have to dilute it a 
like a with, with the carrier oil with the carrier and you can oil. buy fresh and coconut oil yeah. from doTERRA or you get your own you know jojoba oil fresh and coconut oil I mean really any oil can be a carrier oil um, coconut oil has a very light mellow scent it's a great amplifier it helps actually with the absorption of the oils into your skin right. your skin is your biggest organ yes. and so it's amazing so many people put lotions and all kinds of like creams and like facial and skincare things on their bodies that have like artificial perfumes and that have chemicals and those chemicals seep into your body and a lot of times that they stay in your body and they build up and, and they build up that's your toxic up. load mm -hmm. yeah so you really have to be careful about your toxic load when we're talking about that like Nicole mentioned um, really try to decrease those things to help your entire uh, body get back on a normal more chemically free balanced lifestyle type. And there's tons of science to back this stuff up, not just yeah. about essential oils, but about, you know, just all the toxins and the things that we shouldn't be eating that are in our foods. I mean, the the more of a natural, less processed uh, diet you can have, the better. Um, and the better you're going to feel when you do do those things. Yeah, that is a huge thing. Like I, as well, essential oils were for the first step for me into a natural way of life. Like it's like naturally, mm -hmm. after I started feeling better, I had the energy to start to making these other changes. Right. So don't feel like you're going to take it all on at once. Yeah. Um, because this is, this is slow and steady wins the race. This is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle um, change and lifestyle changes are huge because most of us are really just creatures of habit and we're really so into our set into our own ways originally anyway so it's something that like if this interests you do the research and and look for the things that will back up the science behind it um, and then slowly implement things I started out slowly with you know a small kit um, and I really really love it it's really changed my life it's changed uh, the dynamic in my household um, it's changed the way I feel daily on a daily basis mm -hmm. and so um, and I was a kind of a skeptic at first too when I first started this but I was like I don't want to work I don't want to like rely on modern medicine anymore because I know that there are natural things in this world that can help combat the things that I'm um, battling against and like headaches and sinus um, issues and um, allergies, my allergies are terrible, my kids' allergies are terrible, and so many things have helped them naturally. Um, thanks to Nicole for introducing <laughs> all of it to me, so. Yeah, so with essential oils, it is, um, it, you can use it, um, you could use it here and there if you wanted to. You could only you, you know, use lavender to sleep. You don't have to necessarily treat your ailments like we choose to do. Uh, but if you want to, we have the resources for you. And um, I would definitely encourage you to try it out. If you want a sample of any of the things that we talk about in today's show, you know, please let us know. We'd be happy to um, you know, send it out to you or even meet with you to talk about your specific um, ailments and conditions. Let you, you know, smell different oils or um, you know, try some for yourself. There's never any pressure to buy from us. This is this video is for educational purposes. Yes. Even if you work with another wellness advocate, you know, I just we, we highly recommend essential oils. I personally recommend doTERRA. That's the brand that we've chosen to sell through the store because it's the one that we've been working with for years. Yes. Um, I thought about, you know, trying to find a cheaper oil to, you know, to sell to people, but I don't want to sell something that I don't know is quality and, uh, or the, that I've used personally, you know, yeah, I want to provide things that we've used that we know that have worked that are quality products. Um, you know, just because they're safer for, in our opinion, when we have all the science that backs up from doTERRA. Yeah. Well, with, and with doTERRA, what's great too, um, is you can go to their website and they have a blog, all kinds of DIYs, all kinds of articles and, um, you know, knowledge based information, scientific based information about the oils and about the use of them. Um, this, it, it is safe and it is, um, you know, organic and pure. They, doTERRA considers theirs and, and it's, they consider it CPTG, um, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, which isn't like anything that's backed by the FDA um, or anything like that. And, it, you know, they, it is just a supplement company, kind of, if you think about it. Like, there's so many vitamins and supplement companies out there. Um, you know, a lot of stuff is kind of user beware. And I'm not trying to scare anybody off oils. <laughs> I'm just being, you know, transparent as far as things go. Um, because you do need to understand how it works. Now, doTERRA is a... Um, it, it is a multi-level management company, and the reason they did that is because, you know, word of mouth 
and user like people who are using it is the best way I think to spread information. Yes. Um, we we do sell it as you know as part of our store or as individual wellness advocates though um, the way almost everybody else does. And I but I do want to have it like when we have a physical store one day it is going to be the only oil on our shelves. Um, and it's something that I trust. And if for some reason I ever stopped working with them, um, I would find another really good company. Like I would make sure I would do my research before joining with anybody else. Um, so but with that, so some essential oils you cannot take internally um, in, in general, whether they're doTERRA's or somebody else's or another brand. I honestly, because I haven't used any other brand, I don't know the, the data or the science behind it. I don't know where it's sourced from or any of that. I wouldn't be comfortable taking anything else but doTERRA internally. Um, this is something, again, it's a personal choice each person has to make. There is the data and science that we can um, share with you if you want to know about using them internally. Um, of course, you don't have to. You can also um, put them on your skin. Again, if you have sensitive skin, you can dilute it with a carrier oil or um, you can diffuse it. So we have a diffuser behind us back there on the table um, going with some balance. Um, it helps re reduce stress. It helps with um, anxious feelings and things like that. Um, We've talked about that one a lot. It's an everyday use for me, for mm -hmm. Nicole. Um, most of the people that I know, I think, that use them really like that essential oil because it does give you such a like grounding feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we feel just more root, root, <laughs> grounded, rooted, mm -hmm. you know, stable, balanced. It's just balance is, is a favorite of a lot of people that we know. Um, so yeah, we've got that going on. So you don't have to take oils internally in order for them to work because what happens, like Jen said, they even if you put them on your skin, which is your biggest organ, it seeps down into, you know, through, it permeates the cell membrane yes. and gets into the cell and treats the root cause of something instead of the symptoms. Because um, my, my chiropractor, um, they have like a big poster in their office that says like, I take this to treat this because of this medicine that gives me this, because of this medicine that gives me that. When really, if you got like, if you went to a chiropractor regularly, if you worked out, if you ate well, if you use essential oils as needed um, to cure ailments, because they will happen. You know, we will get our, our immune system is challenged from time to time. The essential oils is like nature's um, tools. It really... To help boost, and it, it's like nature's medicine. It's nature's medicine. It it's it's put here on the earth for us to use, and I think that a lot of us has, have forgotten about using the things that nature has put for us in order to maintain a better um health and well-being yeah so um let's get into talking about some of the oils that we love some recipes um but that, you know we'll probably do follow-up videos in the future we will have things on our website as far as like resources and recipes um anything we make in shop like our um, essential our um, essential oil bath salts are made with doTERRA um so you get those benefits from the bath salts that we that we sell and promote um we can help you get anything um, that doTERRA has to offer and we get a commission off it or we can help you become a member so you get the same rates that we pay and you can also get rewards through do from doTERRA yeah. um, so that you can earn free oils. So they have a really cool like package for being able to get the most bang for your buck. Again, there are cheaper places out there. If you want to go that route, do your research. Um, we can still help you as far as like if you have questions about what you can use for certain things. If there's a most that you can diffuse are safe to be taken and um, are, are that you can diffuse. I mean, that sometimes, like I said, will be enough or to put on your skin. You can also use aromatherapy jewelry, like with, made with lava beads that will retain the scent of the aroma, uh, the essential oils, and then, you know, you smell it throughout the day right. and you kind of get the sim same benefits. All right. So um, we talked about safe, effective, affordable. So it is, it, I mean, if you think about it, so like say you get a bottle of oil, let's say... Um, lavender. I think it's like 20 bucks. Okay. This is 200 drops. So, I mean, you're talking about 10 cents a drop and two drops. I mean, can go, I generally take two drops whenever I'm doing anything. Um, you know, I put two drops on my pillow to help me sleep well. Um, I put a couple drops in my bath. So, um, you know, depending on the oil, the, you know, obviously the cost, if the cost for the bottle is higher, the cost per drop is going to be higher. But ultimately, like this can last you a long time depending on how much you use it for. I have a very vast collection and the healthier I become, the less I need to rely on the oils. I don't need to use them as frequently or as much um, as I did at first. Um, 
you know, then there are some oils like frankincense that can be a little bit more pricey, but man, are they worth it? I mean, the amount of things that frankincense we've talked about before, yeah. the amount of things frankincense can help with, um, <laughs> is, is pretty amazing. It's the king of oils and what, what we use to reference, um, or, you know, to reference what we're going to use for a certain ailment are the essentials of the earth. Um, we call them our oil Bibles. They're little, it's called an Encyclopedia of Oils, Blends, and Applications. Uh, we have the ninth edition in stock and for sale. And so these, you can pretty much think of any ailment. So I just opened up to uh, bee stings. So for bee stings, you, it says use basil, and it says um, dab two or three drops basil or any other recommended oils directly on the area bitten as soon as possible. Repeat, if necessary, every one or two hours. And I'm open to another page, um, lipoma. Uh, so oils it suggests are frankincense, grapefruit, and then blends. They have deep blue or slim and sassy. And it says one to three drops each frankincense and slim and sassy, topically to the area two times daily. If pain, apply deep blue rub topically. So th these, this is the protocol, how you use the oils, right? So if you have a lipoma, um, which I know some of my family who has, um, and you, you massage, um, it's, in, it's in her lymph nodes under her arm, so you massage the frankincense into that area, and um, it, it does, it has reduced um, tumors in, in people that it's I know. It's, it is pretty pretty amazing. Um, I go in here for everything. I mean, and, and Me like too. for any like seasonal allergies, I use um, two, two drops of peppermint, two drops lemon, two drops lavender, and a veggie capsule. We'll show you those in just a minute. Oh, Chen's gonna be so nice and grab them for me. So um, you can buy a bottle of ve veggie caps. How many are there? There's like it's like four dollars a bottle of these, and, this and there's 160 okay. caps in it. And can you open it up and take one out for I me? Sure can. Let's show them how to use it. Um, so for ganglion cysts, which I actually have, and I I have to admit I've been bad about taking care of my ganglion cysts. That's why it's still there. <laughs> but when I do use the oils, because again it takes a while, and this is something that like it reduces the size. Um, so it's oregano and thyme, and so you're supposed to put two drops of oregano topically in the morning, and then two drops of thyme topically in the evening. Well, the reason why I haven't been, it's one, it's not causing me any pain. The other reason is oregano is so strong smelling, it's like I don't want to smell like a pizza all day. <laughs> so that's why I have neglected my, the treatment of my ganglion cyst, uh, but it is available. Um, for a sinus infection, there's things that, I mean, this little, the, every page, is anything you can think of is literally in here. Um, anything most things, think of. most things, yeah. But it's very, there are very few things that aren't in here, but these are all different ailments. And then what I love too is at the beginning of the book, I, I think if you're going to use essential oils, I don't care which brand you're using, you still need this little reference guide um, because it also tells you, you know, safety, it has safety charts. It tells you about, um, you know, which ones might be skin sensitive, which ones are photosensitive, meaning you shouldn't put them on and then go out in the sun. Like most of the citrus ones, um, you wouldn't want to put like uh, anywhere that's going to be directly in the sun because it will probably burn. Um, because of the, the it, photosensitivity. And then there's, um, you know, it's safe for internal use. Um, and then there's ones that are, you know, it tells you it's okay to use during pregnancy. You need to consult your doctor during pregnancy. Um, do not use. Um, and then there's also at the very back, there are um, reflexology uh, diagrams for the hands and the feet. Because you have, I've said this before too, yes. reflexology points in all of um, in your, actually in your ears too. And so it has the nice little, um, graphics for where your reflexology points are because there are certain oils that it's best to put them on the reflexology point. For example, if you have spine pain, you can put balance or like a pain relieving blend on the acupressure or Point on your foot that corresponds to that section of your spine. It'll treat it almost just as well as putting it directly onto that area of sensitivity. Um, peppermint is 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 a very is a favorite. So let's talk about the beginner trio. So you can buy three of these together um, at slightly reduced rate. I don't have the the price on hand, but that is lemon lemon lavender and peppermint. These are beginner trio. These are like three go to oils. <laughs> they have so many uses. Cat like reflexes. <laughs> yeah, nice Thank going, you. Jen. <laughs> they have so many uses. Um, the, the, these oils individually, and I just pulled out my textbook. Um, so modern essentials this is a hardcover, eleventh uh, edition textbook. I got off of Amazon. You guys can get it there too. You can get the older versions, which, which may be a little bit outdated, but still have most of the information that you could use uh, for relatively cheap if it's an older version. Um, but I would say go with the newer version, especially if you're just getting into this and um, you want the most up to date data. So they have sections for buy oil. They have 
sections for the different blends. They have, um, and then they also have a section by treatment. So just like that little encyclopedia I showed you guys, where it has by ailment, you can find that in this textbook, but then you can also find what oil is specifically good for. So Jen, give me an oil. What do you um, want me to look up? So let's just go with peppermint. Peppermint. Open the lavender. I didn't read your mind that time. All right. So peppermint. Um, so it's two pages on all the properties of peppermint. Um, and, and then all of the research and resources that you can also reference as well. But it tells you, so here so for peppermint in this textbook, common primary uses, alertness, antioxidant, asthma, autism, bacterial infections, Bell's palsy, brain injury, chronic fatigue, cold sores, colon polyps, congestion, constipation, cooling, cramps and trolley horses, Crohn's disease, diarrhea, dysmenorrhea, uh, endurance, fainting, fever, flu, gamma radiation exposure, gastritis, halitosis, headaches, heartburn, heat stroke, hernia, um, herpes, hives, hot flashes, huntingtons, hypothyroidism. You're making faces, aren't you? <laughs> <Just a little laughs> bit. Good, get us on the look. That's <laughs> just so funny. I see it in the camera. <laughs> Indigestion, irritable bowel syndrome, itching, jet lag, lactation, memory. Uh, migraines, motion sickness, M oh, MRSA, MRSA. Yeah, MRSA. Um, multiple sclerosis, muscle aches, muscle fatigue, myelin sheath, nausea, olfactory loss of sense of smell, osteoporosis, paralysis, rhinitis, scabies, sciatica, shock, sin sinusitis, surgical wounds, swollen eyes, tennis elbow, throat infection, thigh typhoid, no. um, ulcer, varicose veins, and vomiting. Those are the common primary uses of peppermint. Like, wow. Um, and not every oil has that many. But, th um, but this is like also a god. Uh, it's um, one of the, the god staples. Of the basic staple oils that you absolutely need. <laughs> so, um, like, I open to um, D dill. dill and Douglas first. So, dill, the, the common primary uses, they have cholesterol and flavoring. So dill is not showing up for doing much, <laughs> um, but good for cholesterol. But so, then, it, it, like, know. but those are the common uses that I just listed off of both of those, right? So then, there's also it shows other possible uses in the textbook. So for dill, even though it had those two common uses, it also can help with um, bronchial catarrh, colic, constipation, flatulence. <laughs> headaches, indigestion, liver deficiencies, lowering glucose levels, nervousness, normalizing insulin levels, promoting milk flow in nursing mothers, supporting pancreas function, and clearing toxins. Wow. So there's a lot of information in this book, and, and it tells you how you can use it. It tells you whether you should use it aromatically, um, topically, or, topically, or internally. Yes, or internally. And now, as far as, before we show you any more oils, what does aromatic, topical, and internally mean, right? So aerotopic, aromatically is obviously through a diffuser, through diffusing jewelry. Topically is on your skin, and then internally is internal. So the, and oh, there's your veggie capsule. So all you gotta do is take the little top off of it. So here, there's the bottom part. So you drop your oils into um, the bottom part. Oh, I should have done my manicure, but oh well. And then the top, and then you just close it up and you can take it. Um, with some water. If any oil drops on the outside of the veggie cap, you'll just taste it. Just drink more water to wash it out of your mouth. You know, um, some of them don't taste the greatest, but you know, they're, if you're taking them internally, they're not going to, it shouldn't be poisonous. If, if it says on the bottle that you can take internally yes. or on the website. So when you, if you want to know something is safe for internal use, for example, on the doTERRA one, it says on the bottle for internal use, and for lavender, it says dilute one drop in four floral ounces of liquid. So if you're taking it in a capsule, you know, if you're taking a bit, um, oils in a capsule, drink at least four ounces of water with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and and then if it's not safe for internal use, which we didn't bring out, um, one that always comes to mind is eucalyptus breathe. and breathe has yeah. eucalyptus in it. So for example, breathe, it does not say on here. Um, for internal use and that and it would be when it when it'll tell you if it's for internal use it would be right under the ingredients but if you keep scrolling down or twisting the bottle it says for example on breathe for aromatic or topical use diffuse aromatically or to apply topically dilute with the carrier oil to minis, minimize skin sensitivity the information is right there on the on bottle, bottle for you guys well. mm -hmm. um That's but really if you great. need quick reference stuff um we can we provide that we, or we can steer you to where you can get it off of doTERRA site um Again, A for aromatic, T for topical, I for internal. Um, in your little encyclopedia, if you get one of these from us, it has that chart as well. 
that is what it, you know, it shows all the different oil names and where it says internal use, it'll say yes or no. So you can look it up there. Um, so if you're not sure, check your references, um, check the bottle, check the um, website. If, if you, yeah, if you are not comfortable or confident about it, then don't take it internally. Um, we are not doctors. This information is not intended to replace any sort of medical diagnosis information or any sort of medical guidance. We are not liable for misuse of the oils. That's why we're telling you where you can get the right information to take care of the stuff yourself. And um, consult with your physician like we continue to repeat that as well. You know, yeah. always consult with your physician. But um, for us, internal use has done nothing but help promote a better cellular function in our entire bodies and it makes us feel great. And we just want to promote things so other people can feel how mm -hmm. um, more energized and they just feel healthier in general and not so sluggish. And I, I feel like a lot of people nowadays, where they're always like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. And we caffeine and we, up like, like coffee. Yeah, and, then, and, then you just, and then your insulin goes really, really high and then you go and then you get to the low and then, then you're just completely, um, you're just completely done when you're healthy i mean you just feel better yeah um, it doesn't matter what your weight is right a lot of people get healthy because they care about their weight but really when you're healthy when you feel good when you have energy when you can get stuff done when you're motivated life is just better quality mm -hmm. yeah and there and um aromatherapy there is emotional aromatherapy yes. so if you struggle with mental issues um or if you have some demons or some problems you know, or sort depression through. or anxiety that a lot of times i use my i use my um, diffusers to help just the entire household with allergies, uh, depression, anxiety, um, anything that could possibly be going on that, that I haven't detected yet is always helping through my diffuser, no matter what, because yeah. I use them daily. Um, if not every day, every other day, um, I take them internally every day. If I run out, then I, then I use like natural things like lemon. I use a natural, I'll use a regular lemon if I run out of my lemon oil, mm -hmm. um, essential oil. But, um, yeah, yeah. yeah that, like I love lemon in my water. Some people yeah. don't, like I do it. hot lemon. I do hot water with essential oil, lemon drops in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't drink coffee. Um, the, like it's that. a great detoxer. Lemon yeah. and lemon is so affordable. I, I make my own cleaning products with yeah, oat vinegar and so essential good. oils. Like I've li reduced my toxic load tremendously, not just what I'm putting in my body, but what I'm using around my house. Cause yeah. again, like, if, and I also promote, um, sustainable, like no chemical cleaning products because like when you're using cleaning products with chemicals, they're they absorbing are absorbing into, your, into skin. your skin. That's why I always use And, and through your nose, gloves. like your yeah. olfactory, like when you spray a window cleaner, you smell that, you know that smell, right? Yeah, everybody knows that smell. <laughs> it's it, it's going into it's being absorbed through your through your nasal your breathing passages. I mean, I honestly feel like a lot of the reason we have so many there's a lot of ailments that we have that we've kind of brought upon ourselves because right. of all the chemicals that we use. Right, right. Um, so I love cleaning and and not having any chemicals yeah. around. And again, the the I'm always like cautious now about candles even that I burn. Oh, um, yeah. I, 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 you know, I love they don't candles. Have to I'm, I'm obsessed with all candles, so I'm not very picky. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like, like the, like artificially fragranced ones. Yeah. I don't use perfume anymore. My essential oils act as my perfume. The doTERRA also has like certain blends right. that, that mix with your body's chemistry to give your Ooh. own natural scent. So oh, like, out of focus a yeah, here. <laughs> oh, cause we moved yes. back kind of. <laughs> okay. So, um, we are going to, I'm actually going to stop. Yeah. Okay. And we'll be right back. All right. So we moved a little closer to our oils. So now, um, so we brought out some of our favorites. So we've talked about balance, right? For grounding. That one is awesome. Um, I got past tense cause I, this is my go-to for headaches and migraines. You rub it onto your temples. This is the roller, roller, uh, bottle. And by the way, we do have, if you want to mix your own oils or you need oil supply bottles, we do have, um, roller bottles and, and uh, 5, 10, and 15 milliliter um, empty bottles if you guys ever want to get them from us. We will also buy your empties off of you. Yeah, um, we love so, to reduce, reuse, recycle. Yes, um, yeah, but if you want to, I, I've always been a saver of my bottles. Me too. Um, because then I can make my own blends and I can also give them easily to friends and family members to give a, to try. Speaking of, she did that for me. I had a terrible like case of cystic acne for a little while on my chin. And she gave me um, tea tree um, oil with fractioned coconut oil in it. And I would put it on my face every night before I went to bed after I washed my face. And it literally reduced the size of them and it reduced how painful they were. Um, and it 
overall just made my skin feel a lot better and the tea tree oil is kind of refreshing at the same time so yeah tea tree oils well which is melaleuca um is great for dandruff it is good for most skin conditions i've used tea tree oil at, um and lavender yeah but i'll say melaleuca tea tree melaleuca it's the same it is the same thing so yeah i use melaleuca and lavender to treat pink eye I got pink eye when I got like I had a dirty pool water splash in my eye a couple years ago, and I just put like a drop or two under both my eyes. Like I had to keep doing it every couple of hours for several days, but it went away naturally. I didn't have to go to the doctor. I knew it was conjunctivitis. I knew right. I knew, knew what it was. I knew yeah. So I was able to self treat with that, and it was pretty amazing. And then because I didn't want my son to get it, you know, because it is contagious. Right. I proactively treated him. Right. Um, with a half dose of what I was giving myself, and I diluted it. That's great. Um. So and it, and it helped. It went away. Um, which is pretty amazing. And and lavender melaleuca can help with a lot of skin conditions. Yeah. Um, that, again, that's all in your book. And I just opened the, the little encyclopedia to, um, to acne, and that's exactly what it says, you know, um, HD clear and uh, and diluted uh, geranium or tea tree melaleuca um, are yeah. great with acne. I do like the HD clear. Yeah. I think it has citronella in it, which I, so I'm not necessarily a fan of the smell, but I'm so much a fan of how quickly it works. <laughs> like the HD clear, I, yeah. within 24 hours, if I keep using it, my, my zits are gone. Um, breathe. I definitely yeah. have to talk about breathe. So Jen loves breathe. Yeah, my kids I, love this. My son, my, my littlest boy, he's allergies are so terrible and so in order to help him sleep at night I put breathe and lavender in my diffuser and there is no mini freight train at night anymore. <laughs> when, when I put that on, but if I don't put it on he's like <laughs> and he's just so little and it doesn't make any sense how he can snore so loud <laughs> oh my god that is funny especially knowing him is so cute yeah he's so tiny so breathe um so my son had asthma mm, at the age of two. This is amazing. And Breathe actually helped him get rid of his asthma. He was on a nebulizer. It was so bad he had to take budesin budesonide daily um, as inhaler, but it made him more aggressive. Mm. And so we started trying the Breathe oil while he was still on the medication, and the Breathe oil helped cure his asthma. Like, like yeah, he, no, he, he no longer got, has with, asthma. Within months, he got off the nebulizer, and we were relying solely on the essential oils. And then within a year, he was like... Doesn't have Completely asthma anymore. clear. Yeah. So, but we still we love it anytime he has breathing issues. Well, and you can put this in like you could do a hot steam shower. Mm -hmm. Put a couple drops in that sh in the shower um, and sit in there like with your when your kid's congested. You know, I think as parents we've all been through that where your kid will be congested and they're miserable, especially yeah. when they're so small they don't know what's going on. It's the worst. Um, yeah, when you have to sit in the bathroom with them, be like, oh my baby. I know. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> thankful really that like that. it hasn't been you know like like they're a little bit older now and it's not. So heartbreaking. Like Did I just that. make you melt though? I yeah, I melted. I just thought about that. I'm like, oh, yeah. And their little boogery noses and stuff. Yeah. Or eucalyptus. You could do the same yeah, thing with eucalyptus, eucalyptus really um, itself. Um, because eucalyptus is not an internal oil. I do, breathe is not an internal oil. Um, there's also a breathe stick. Um, where it's like literally kind of like, um, like a Vicks stick like, or something yes, like yes, that. Yes, exactly. But chemicals. Yes, exactly. So you can put that on your feet. You can put that on your chest. You can put it on your nose. It works great. Um, and then there's also a pre-diluted roller bottle version called Breathe Touch. And you can get that so like it's pre-diluted so you can feel safe putting on your kid or just putting directly on your skin. Um, or you can make your own. Again, I buy my own roller bottles and I just get the full strength um, oil. And then like I'll blend like half the oil, half coconut oil in a roller bottle. And boom, I'm good to go on the go. Yep. Um, so lavender, so many amazing uses for lavender. Um, it, it is it is one of the staples, along with lemon and peppermint and frankincense for me. Um, uh, copaiba, I brought copaiba out here because copaiba was doTERRA's answer to CBD oil. It helps with pain relief, and um, so I and and you can take this by itself. It is safe for internal use, um, according to doTERRA. And I but I take it with frankincense and marjoram and lemongrass. So. Um, my, my rep, my upline long time ago told me what's called a pain bomb. And so three drops of frankincense, three drops of lemongrass, three drops of marjoram in a veggie capsule. And it's essentially like a pr replacement ibuprofen or over-the-counter pain medication. Which is amazing. And it works. It does. I have to use it for my joint pain. But what I start doing, you know, for when, when it's like a severe pain, I want it to work as quick as possible. I will add two drops of, uh, copaiba to my pain bomb. And um, so that's really great for pain for pain relief of any kind. Um, you can just give it a try. Yeah. Um, on guard, 
love it's, it. Jen, do you want to talk about Encore? Yeah. Because this is one of the faves of yours, right? I absolutely love this. So this is a protective blend. Um, it really helps um, with uh, boosting your immune system and just protecting your immune system in general. Um, I always um, diffuse this um, when the seasons change because a lot of us get sick when the seasons change. My kids' allergies get really bad when the seasons change. My allergies get really bad. Um, and then just when I know that we've been around a lot of people, um, I try to just diffuse this, only this. Um, it smells kind of like cin cinnamony. Yeah, there's like cinnamon, yeah, it's like, oregano, orange. Yeah. Um, lots of lots of oils that correspond with the lower chakras. Yes. Um, I, I, I can't tell you exactly. I know that there's a reason for it, but I can't spit it out <laughs> on top of my head right now. Yeah, no worries. But ultimately, but... like the, we've talked about how colors and chakras can be can cause or affect certain, um, certain ailments and... Um, color therapy is, is a big thing so um i just wanted to mention yeah that. you got digestion now yeah digestion um i've actually uh, recommended this to my mom um to put in some of her in like a tea um so that she could drink it quickly um just to help with certain um stomach issues that she has um and it's really great you can also just put it in your side inside of your belly button um and it'll help that way as well if you have like a terrible stomach ache or you're like you have diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, I call it the Pepto-Bismol <laughs> like oils. Pepto -Bismol, yeah. yeah, I call it the Pepto-Bismol oils, heartburn, nausea, diarrhea, upset stomach. Um, the digestin, and that, that's what really, really sold me on the oil. So I use past tense for headache, and, but then I use digestin. I put it in my belly button before yeah. my upline left after doing my first oil thing, and overnight my sinuses drained. Yeah. And it's amazing. Like, I couldn't believe it. So it helps with those digestive issues. Like, any, again, anytime. And I... gut issues and stuff like that. Like, these mm -hmm. things are all great for your gut as well. And a lot of us have really terrible gut Because of the things that we've eaten. Because yeah. of the things that like we've eaten. Like, um, I've heard it said that our stomach is, like, our second or third brain. Mm -hmm. um, and it, 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 it does a lot. You know, if our digestive tract is, is thrown off and unhealthy... It can affect us in so many different ways. So many ways. Like, um, like stress can give us a stressed out stomach and can cause like psoriasis IBS. and I yeah. and IBS. Um, and so this uh, this digestion can help in so many different ways. It's got like licorice and peppermint, or I shouldn't say licorice, anise. I think is the name for right. licorice or whatever. Um, so that's I, I think digestion is amazing. Helps with uh, Crohn's disease as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot. Yeah. So you can get you know, you can ask us if about a specific oil. And we can give you, you know, we can send you you know a lot more uses information for it. Information about it. Um, let's see. So peppermint um, is another staple. Oh, weird. And um, let's that see one. the lemon. Slim and sassy. So I brought out slim and sassy because a lot of people are like, okay, Nicole, what do you have to help me lose weight? Or what do you have to help me increase my metabolism? Slim and sassy is great for that. That is the metabolic blend. It's got um, oranges. So it's got orange, ginger, grapefruit, peppermint, cinnamon. Um, so these are all things that are good with digestion um, and they help reduce the appetite. And I've also heard, I haven't tried it yet because I'm, uh, not because like I'm afraid or anything. I just, just haven't had the time. Got to, haven't gotten, haven't gotten, gotten to, to it yet. Um, doing a wrap. Like, you know, have you heard of how you can do oh, like yes. plastic body wraps? Yes, I've seen those. So yeah. apparently you can do that with Slim and Sassy and it, it like heats up the area and helps melt away fat. Like yeah, I really overnight. want to do that. Overnight. I really, yeah. I really want to try that out. Um, but obviously, if you put it on and you're uncomfortable or it, like it's too hot, either dilute the oils next time. Um, but you know, take it off right away. Like any sort of burning, wash, unhealthy situation, um, you know, you there, there might be a slight tingling. Yeah, right? there should there should be a tingling definitely because it's supposed to stimulate, activate and yeah. stimulate the oh fat God. cells that are around your um, abdominal area. Um, but if it gets to a point where you can't even handle what it feels like on your skin, definitely, you know, take it off. But I always recommend no matter what, even if you're not a person first. that has sensitive kin, skin, <laughs> <laughs> always try things with a carrier oil. There's, there's no, then you have, then it's like foolproof. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know what's going to happen to me if I just put something on. I'm going to have a rash all over my entire, bar, entire body. Whereas me, I can put anything on my yeah. skin, even oregano, which is a hot oil. Right. Um, and it won't bother me. Oregano, it does some, it's, I, I, almost everybody has to dilute it. I do have to dilute it. If I don't, I will be regretting it. Yeah. But, <laughs> I will you be know, smell like an dilute, extra yeah. pizza. Always, <laughs> always dilute your oils, no matter what. Like, just put one drop 
uh, or two drops of your carrier oil and then put another drop of your your oil that you want to use and then rub it in you know yeah so uh, i speaking of oh so i there's a cold and flu bomb um yeah. recipe that has helped me out and i refer to someone and since it had oregano in it and they ended up burping the oregano for like a whole 24 hours after that so they're like you tried to kill me and i'm like no i didn't i'm sorry um so i mean that could happen so i would say be careful with the stuff internally because it could it you know it could you could have you could, could be a, agitate oregano. this esophagus, yeah. <laughs> right. So with like oregano, I would say be careful, but I think I have it in here. Um, the cold and flu bomb: three drops of oregano, five drops of maluka, five drops of lemon. Um, I know that I, I liked for for cold and flu for me. I like to do two drops on guard, two drops frankincense, two drops lemon, two drops um, maluka, and um, yeah, those those are usually good if I want to eliminate the oregano. Okay, so there's all, there's lots of things you can do with these oils. We're going to be, like I said, posting DIYs on our site. We're going to be posting different ideas. We'll soon be talking about, you know, like different ways to use certain oils. You know, we'll have like oil spotlights and stuff. Right now we're still ramping up. I do want you guys to get curious and interested in this stuff and let us know what you're looking for us to help you out with. Again, we're never going to oversell you. We're here to no, give we're you the information, to, yeah, we're here let to you try things. And, you know, and, and let you be your own advocate, you know, you know yourself best and you know what you could spend you, but you know, this to me is worth taking a it's chance investment. on. It is an investment in yourself. It ultimately, when you, when you are proactively taking care of your health, long term is going to cost a lot less than when you do get sick and have to um, be taken care of. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I need insurance because, you know, what if something happens? Well, if you take care of yourself, you, you know, the odds of something big happening um, where you're, you're, you're going to need surgery or, um, I mean, to do something for yourself, take care of yourself before it's too late, before you have a heart attack and all of a sudden, you know, you're significantly unhealthy and can't do anything about right. it. And you have no choice but to change your lifestyle or you won't be here anymore. Yeah, some yeah, people some wait. people get to that point where it's like, okay, I could have this this life changing disease like diabetes, or, or that they 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 finally take their health seriously. And I have a friend who did that, and I'm really glad that she took herself seriously. And now she's she's losing weight, she's feeling great, um, she's not smoking, she's not you know eating and drinking things that she shouldn't that she's been telling herself for a long time. I know this isn't bad for me, but right, um, and that's how it goes. But if you can incorporate these things into your life. Um, and you're interested in them, uh, we highly recommend to doing so and um, just giving yourself a little bit of time to let your body adapt to the oils and how they are working for you. It isn't an overnight change. This is something that we say about a lot of things that we talk about in the show um, is that not everything that you do and implement is going to be an overnight change. So just make sure to uh, continue to educate yourself and try to become more well-rounded when it comes to your uh, natural wellness and overall well-being. Well, I would like to say, I mean, because there are some things that do work immediately. Like within 30 yeah. minutes, if I put on past tense for a headache, my headache is oh, yeah. usually I, gone. Yeah. Right, and I know, right. I just want to let yeah. people know that like in this some true, cases, though. like big, major chronic diseases will take time, time. right? But, and there even, I, there's been... Uh, there's been things that have been treated with oils or like with it, without oils, maybe with light therapy, with, um, with energy healing, right. with all different kinds of woo woo metaphysical, um, alternative medicine, medicine things yeah. that modern medicine says are uncurable. Right. I, I just, it's, there's something to that guys. Like we have powers there, you know, there's books out there. I love uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza who healed himself after a major like car accident or he was hit by a car when he was doing like a triathlon and it broke his back and through like literally mental willpower, meditation and rest, he healed himself without any sort of surgery. They thought he would never walk again. I mean, look it up. Um, yeah. And you know, he's a huge advocate for he's a neurophysicist and a chiropractor now he's a huge advocate for our minds having more power than we realize you know he wrote a book called you are the placebo mm -hmm. and it talked about how you know what we think if we think we can heal something we can if we give it enough power we can but if we if we believe you know oh we only have so long to live if we believe right. that you know we're gonna get sick if we believe that because our parents had something we're gonna have something that that's a kind of manifestation there there are there are scientific studies out there that talk about this stuff there are doctors talking about these sorts yeah, of things backing up. um it, it's really fascinating like what our bodies our bodies can heal a lot of things without help but it is nice to have a natural um natural items 
to, to help us. Food is yes. food can be medicine. Food is medicine. I always say sound food is can be medicine. Yeah. Um, you know, nature sound, is medicine. Nature is medicine. Laughing is medicine. <laughs> yes, laughter is the best medicine. Um, so margaritas are medicine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they can be. They can be. <laughs> but, you know, the, you know, speaking of, I mean, med, self medicating. You know, people have used. Um, alcohol and drugs, and, drugs and, and stuff self to self-medicate. I mean, this is self-medicating that's Same not way, but toxin, not is to that, but it's not toxic or, or for life you. Alt or right. like conscious altering. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're not going to get drunk using, high off the Using oils. oils isn't going to ruin your life. It's only going to make it better. Right. And that's what. Well, that's actually, I mean, this, the show, the store is in place because we want to help people heal in whatever way possible. Um, and again, we've, already, we've talked about how they're, it's these are all there's little pieces of a bigger whole yes and it doesn't hurt to try different things and you might be surprised how well it works exactly. you know you could, you could become the next person raving about essential oils and now i people i just want to say something at the end before we finish like people often mistake because i like essential oils and i and i use them and i trust them like that i'm like an anti-vaxxer or that yeah, no, I don't like, they, but it's like, <laughs> but it's funny it's how like people thing, think, it, but, but I think the misconception is that people who use essential oils are stupid or naive or, right, or something or like that. And about. that is a bad misconception. That is, I think a terrible myth. Um, and, and, and even anti-vaxxers, I mean, I, I'm not one of those, but it's like, if you don't know what's going on in some situation, maybe not, maybe don't judge them. Yeah. Um, uh, there, there's a lot of information, bad information out there. Um, I do believe that vaccines are, are safe. I choose not to get the flu shot for my own reasons, but ultimately I get all the nece necessary vaccinations that I need to get because they exist. That modern medicine is, you know, scientifically backed. Like these are some of the smartest people in the world that are trying to help us. Um, but really, we've got to try and help ourselves right. by being proactive about our health care. Um, by making lifestyle changes, you know, using aromatherapy, using massage, even without aromatherapy, um, can be extremely healing and beneficial. Yeah. Um, so be open to try new things. Let us know what oils you would like to try. Let us know if you want to set up a personal shopping experience or, or just a class to learn yeah. more about oils. Let us know if you want us to send you, um, you know, any information on DIYs with essential oils or if you want to know what you can use or if you want to order the encyclopedia. We, you know, again, we've said it so many times. We are here for you guys. Um, and I think we have wrapped this up right now. <laughs> I, I think that's a good... We, we kept telling you guys that we're going to do a show on essential oils, and well, here it is. Yeah, and there's so much information that we could go on and on, um, but really we... Trying to keep it short and simple and sweet. Short and sweet, and then if you want to know for, you know, for your specific situation, um, feel free to reach out. Yeah. Or do the research on your own, but definitely... Um, don't overlook essential oils. Don't um, don't be too judgy when it comes to using them or implementing them. And don't judge other people about what they use to make themselves feel good and healthy about their lives. Um, that's a huge thing that I think that a lot of people need to focus on is stop hating what other people do to make themselves feel good and happy because you're not ready to implement it in your life or you're not willing to try it. That's what she said. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.